hi welcome to some more video tutorials I'm back from Graz and I'm still a little bit sick I caught a cold so my voice is not quite as usual uh, I want to do one assembly in all programs so you can compare and I can compare let's start with a new and empty product in Katia insert one existing component and that's the ground plate open it up and fix it. Then I will bring all the other components in at once. Product and like this. And maybe I make an explosion that's faster than the manipulation so make explode in 2d make it apply and then you can adjust it with this slider and okay yeah now let's do the constraints this axis should be aligned with that axis, this one with that one, and this side should be aligned to that face. And it refresh it, yes. Then this face should be on that face refresh it and then I might need well yeah I could do it like this I will align these two because it's fast and it works okay then this one should be on that face Same, they should be opposite. Refresh. And this axis should be aligned with that axis. And refresh. Okay. Then this face should be on that face. Yeah. Refresh. And this axis should be on that axis okay Let's so what's missing this one this one should be aligned to that one it and there should be some sort of contact between this face and that face yeah let's move this a little bit face opposite ok and this one should be aligned to that axis and yeah so I'm still missing wow there he is this axis should be aligned to that axis It's really sad that in Kitty you cannot move the parts without compass or manipulation. But yeah. Let's take this one 
put it right there, select this, and then you can move the component still. And go away. What I'm missing, I want to move this one a little bit. Maybe like this. And there should be some sort of contact between this face and that face. It should be internal. Yep. Hopefully, I here looks good. And then I need a copy of this one and a copy of that one. So maybe just. well by pressing control and C and control and V. Okay, I have to move them. So I want to move this one yeah and that one. Okay. Throw the compass away. it some constraints. This one should be aligned to that axis and this face should be coincident with that face. Yes, refresh it and this axis should be aligned to that axis and then I need some sort of reference element. Let's check if this guy has something to offer. Maybe a plane. And there should be a plane. So let's show them. And I can use this plane to align it to that face. Okay. And this plane to that face as well. Refresh it and it's done. I can try to move the parts by manipulating and I want to rotate around an axis with respect to constraints and I want to use that axis. And I'm done. So next up will be uh, SolidWorks. See you to the next video. Bye bye.